How's it going true gamers? In today's video I'll be showing you guys my one hit account build and how to make your very own one hitting machine in old school runescape. Starting off with quest and skill requirements. First here's an image of all the skill and quest requirements you'll need in order to complete this build. Feel free to pause the video here if you need. Next I'll show you guys clips of me completing these skills and quests, as well as some helpful safe spots you guys can use during some of these quests. There it is, 90 range. Let's do a price check. We picked up every valuable seed drop from 80 to 90, just like we've been doing. And it looks like we got about 6.2 mil in return from all the seeds. So that's awesome. It also took us 174,000 cannonballs from 40 to 90. So that's a good statistic. All right. The shadow of the storm safe spot for uh, low levels and peers. As you can see, I have very low stats on this account, so level 100 game is pretty tough, but the boss fight will start right here, and what you need to do is just instantly run north and then west behind this torch, and as long as you're behind this torch, you can hit him and then run back, and he won't be able to hit you. Just wait for his health bar to disappear, and then you can do it again. Hit, and then instantly run back. Just click back on the tile right behind that torch as soon as you see the XP drop. So XP drop, boom. All right, just wanted to make this quick safe spot video for you guys. All right, so for the safe spot for the fight arena, as soon as we get in here, we're just gonna run behind this skeleton right over there and they won't be able to attack us. Let's quickly run behind the skeleton. And there we go, safe spot acquired. As long as you stand behind the skeleton like that, they won't be able to attack you. So that's the safe spot for the Xard fight arena. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple safe spots for the horror from the deep quest. The first being for the Dagonoth you fight, and then the next being for Dagonoth Mother. All right, you go down this ladder. I have my auto cast set to Fire Blast. And we're just gonna talk to Jossic, and then the Dagonoth should spawn. And as soon as it does, you're just gonna run in this back southwestern corner. So, hold on, oh, that's weird. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. Regardless. Just gonna run back to this corner. There you go. Your safe spot one for the first Dagonoth you face. And there it is. Dagonoth Mother Guild. And or from the deep. Alright guys, I just want to show you a couple safe spots real quick that'll help you in the Lost City quest. So first off, when you're killing these zombies to get your bronze axe, which I already got mine, but you hit them, and then go back in between these mushrooms. And that's gonna be your safe spot and just repeat with each attack so see i got hit right there i didn't run back fast enough click in between these mushrooms and you're good to go my cat is blocking the zombie but it's the first safe spot i'll show you guys to be able to get your axe now the next safe spot i'm going to show you guys is the safe spot for the actual boss which is also going to be between these mushrooms so attempt to chop it down and you run between these mushrooms and there we go just run in between the mushrooms right after you attempt to chop down the tree. We stuck her outside, as you can see. It should be a pretty free kill for you guys. I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to kill the Khazard Warlord during the Tree Gnome Village quest. So here he is. We're going to go ahead and talk to him real quick. Alright, now as soon as he starts attacking you, run back to this twig right here I was just standing at. As long as you're at this twig, he can't attack you. So now gonna attack him with magic from here. He'll run out of range, you're gonna run back to him. And as soon as he comes back to you, just make sure you step right in front of that twig right there, and it's out of his range and he won't be able to attack you. So, and there we have it. Let's go. And there it is, 90 magic. There it is. 322 games of pest control later we finally got 60 attack now the last thing to do for monkey madness one is just do the boss fight and then that'll be quest complete but for you one prayer uh one defense peers i also have a safe spot i'm going to show you guys so here's the safe spot so we're going to tell in so right here we're going to overheal from the southwest and right over here down right here if you sit right here he won't be able to hit you as you can see and now all you have to do is wait for the bosses or 
the jungle demon, I guess. Wait for his health to get down low enough. And then you can just walk back over here to this bridge. He'll follow you over, and you can just one-hit him in one shot when he's down to one HP. And that's the safe spot. Alright, so I actually messed up my first attempt at this a little bit. So what I found out that if one of these gnomes gets the last hit on the jungle demon, he'll restore some health. So you gotta make sure you actually get the last hit on him. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually wearing wizard robes just to up my accuracy a bit to make sure I get that last hit. And I'm gonna make sure he has a little bit more health when I drag him over to here so that uh, they don't accidentally kill him. I think we're gonna try it right here. Let's run him over. Go ahead and attack him. And back on that one. We got him. Yes. There it is. And here we go. That is Monkey Madness complete. Meaning we can finally equip our Dragon Scimitar. Now that is a nice look right there. Oh, here they come, boys. There it is. Beautiful. Look at those. There it is. Myth Gloves done. There it is, 50 hit points. Now, that also gets us 1,332 pest control points that we managed to get on the way to 50 HP. Now I'm just gonna have to head to Blast Furnace and continue training strength. There it is, 60 strength and 10 more levels to pump. Let's get it. There it is, 70 strength pumped, just 52,000 more XP, and then we can spend our pest control points and finish our build. It's getting close. There it is, we're finally finished pumping. Now we just gotta head to pest control and spend our pest control points, and our build is finished. So let's start. Spend 100 on strength, confirm. And here it is. 75 strength. There it is. Our build is finally complete. Now the last thing to do is go PK in on it and see how many people we can one hit. Any quest, safe spot. Kill Collodion, all of it, by literally behind him. Any side, doesn't matter which side it is. Caught, side of skeleton. Any of the sides will work. Get him caught behind it and just line yourself up. All five stages are going to be that easy. Alright, hope you guys enjoy it. Well, now that there you guys have, have an idea of what skills and quests you're going to have to do, let's get into the gear overview of the account and see how this one-hitting is going to happen. Alright, so before we get into the PKing, let's do a final review of the account, and then check out the gear and see what our risk is going to be looking like, considering we only have one prayer on the account. So... We have 50, 50 HP, 60 attack, 75 strength, 1 defense, 90 range, 1 prayer, and 90 magic. Our gear, I'm going to price check it as we go along, it's going to be full Elder Chaos robes, Wizard Boots, Tome of Fire, a Nightmare Staff, Volatile Orb, Seer's Ring, and an Occult Necklace, which is going to bring us up to a 140 mil risk on this build. Now, let's just put this gear together real quick and see what our max hit's going to be looking like. Alright, so this is what our final gear setup is going to be looking like. We're going to have plus 80 to magic accuracy and plus 25% to magic damage. Now, all we're going to have to do is use our imbued heart so we can use fire surge. Our max hit with fire surge is going to be a 45. Our max hit with the volatile nightmare staff special attack is going to be a 72. Alright, now let's go see if we can one hit some people without losing our stuff. <laughs> there it is! 64! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took me a long time to make and I had a blast doing it. And good luck creating your own one-hitting monsters. Alright, peace out guys.